Godzilla's upon us. We have the King Kong X Godzilla New Empire here. Hi, what's up again? Yeah, this time we're back with again another toy. This being the um it's called the Planet Eater Gogeta or the uh, Earth Godzilla seen in the uh, yeah the, the animated uh trilogy of films uh Godzilla Monster Planet Godzilla on the edges of City of Battle and uh, Godzilla Planet Eater. This toy is um, actually a, yeah, from China. Um, it's essentially supposed to be replicating the Bandai toy that was released uh, when the film first came out. It's probably, you can, it's probably, you can probably get it for like a hundred dollars or more now, but um, I'm not sure it depends on where you can find it, but yeah. This particular toy actually, this being a Chinese produced version is um pot orient it actually said that it was actually 25 centimeters tall or that is um uh about nine inches tall but actually when I receive this toy it actually stands just a little over eight inches it's going almost in half right there um or otherwise it is, yeah, it's stated to be 25 centimeters, but actually just under 22. It's about actually 21 right here, but if you stand completely erect, yeah, it's just, it goes to about 22. So, yeah. But unlike the Bandai version, it was actually a gray kind of charcoal color. This one is, yeah, pure black. Um, and I chose quickly this version, which has the uh, kind of like, neon blue kind of uh, metallic blue spikes so that was a pretty cool design on it so uh, it's pretty much how the spikes when you know he when Godzilla fires up to release the uh sonic boom heat ray yeah it looks like but uh yeah as far as design wise though yeah it's replicated right from the yeah, from the films uh yeah it's not pretty much looks just like it as you can see let's look at the detail in the head um looks yeah very elephant scene uh the mouth is the same it's kind of very uh was it stay kind of earthy looking yeah since since she's the embodiments of the earth come to life or does the, kind of the environments uh looking at the mouth uh yeah it's uh hollow side you can put your finger in there like that uh that is it um it has very realistic t uh realistic textured skin um yeah very model flesh looks like uh kind of obsidian or like molten rock the articulation uh in the arms full 360 rotation uh, you can see the detail in the um deltoid area the biceps area and going down to the forearm and as we go further down to the hands yes the claws are colored blue um contrasted with the black yeah four um digits yes godzilla has yeah it's pretty much been carried on ever since its creation other side um a little bit uh, lighter in color yeah a little bit of a more of a gray here a little bit even a little bit of a tinge of green but uh yeah some articulation uh, full rotation and then you can swipe down like that um and then going further down looking at the detail of the torso there is a uh, yeah you can see the very molten mus muscle texture of this godzilla is very much like yeah very much like an elephant which is pretty cool yeah denoting you know the, the creature's you know huge size and height mass yeah because this was the largest depiction of godzilla basically ever produced so far so um then going down looking at the legs you can see very tree trunk like um then going down to its feet four digits on both feet uh the bottom yes yeah, is 
it, this is proven it is made in China. Yeah. Then going to the tail. Uh, it's pretty straight. Pretty straightforward. Uh, there's three section. Yeah, three segmented points of articulation. The center can bend as so. All the way. That is the bottom part to the side like that. And the center section does move as well. Uh, full, yeah, full hundred eighty degree angle like that. So essentially, it looks like it, you can put it in like a tail up position. Let's see from this pose, yeah, it's kind of like on the rear. Looks pretty cool. Uh, well, proportions to the the whole body, the upper body, and then the adjusting back into place goes up like that, stands erect. Kind of far, you can see, uh, this is, yeah, this is what it looks like, uh, a huge tail contrasted with his body and um, four-point head. But, uh, yes, this is actually essentially a budget version of the uh bandai toy that was produced it's of the same thing but yeah as i said it is yeah it's a different coloration and a little bit yeah different paint job but the size is a little bit uh smaller in terms of height yeah it is not um i believe the bandai version stands about nine inches tall but this one's actually stands at just a little bit eight inches or that is 20 well actually right here yeah, about 21 centimeters but fully yeah fully standard like about 22 so that's the i guess <coughs> the little con but it's not much of a difference though but i'll just do a size comparison to get an idea here's the uh shin gojita from bandai 2016 still in package and then contrasted next to the this toy um not see yeah the shin still stands a little bit bigger let's see if, let's try to put them completely for front facing view Like that, yeah. So you can see the Shin Godzilla scans. Yeah, it's just a bit taller by an inch. So and here is this one, and then we will compare it to the uh, 2000. Uh, no, actually, the King of the Monsters, uh, Jack Pacific uh, Godzilla. That is standing at the one. foot scale yeah just yeah one foot 12 inches so the idea of what we're looking at here and then just for more yeah in terms of uh ratio differences that's being the tallest here this being next godzilla 2000 bandai uh being next but this one is still bigger about an inch or so and then we have the this is an older version of the ghost godzilla it is like uh six and a half inches so yeah so you can see the whole um racial differences in scale so i'm not sure i'm not sure what this will be if this is like a one yeah but i'm not sure what scale this is but yeah this is just going from six to seven to this one to eight and then to nine or actually no just yeah to nine and then the jack specific being the biggest at 12. so this is little uh just a display of godzillas right here that i have collected and if you are interested uh check this out i think this is a pretty cool toy to get yeah it'll fit on your shelf pretty well it looks pretty cool it's pretty accurate um there's actually, if you order from uh, AliExpress, they uh, have this version, which I like, which with the Batak blue spikes, and they have another version that 
has uh, purple spikes and there's more of like a green kind of tinge to it. So here it is, the um, Earth Godzilla, that is, or the Planet Eater Godzilla uh, from the yeah, Monster Planet animated trilogy of films. Check it out.